I feel it is more important than ever for each of us to spend time on what's most meaningful to us. And for musicians, that means music. I've devoted my life to music and I've received so much back in return. When I was a young girl, for instance, I had a lot of turbulent emotions that were hard to manage and I really longed for a sense of inner peace. And music gave me that. And also as a young person, I wanted to have something that I could be respected for, like a skill. And music gave me that too. It's given me a sense of pride and satisfaction, knowledge of myself, and not least of all, a way to make a living. Maybe you couldn't care less about inner peace. And maybe you're not Aretha Franklin and you don't give a hoot about respect. Maybe what you want for yourself is something different. So have you gotten what you want out of music? Music gives us a lot of things, and it only wants one thing back, your attention. So my words today are just a reminder to you and also to myself that we can find tremendous powers in a place that is quite nearby, and that's our own inner selves. So let's nurture that inner self so that we can draw on it in times of need. I see the pursuit of music as not just a cool thing to do, which of course it is, but also as something very noble, like the Knights of the Round Table and the quest for the Holy Grail. Because I believe that the Holy Grail was not a physical object, it was a symbol for the inner soul and transformation of the inner spirit. For 30 years, I've been helping musicians increase their understanding and find their own voice. I love teaching as much as I love playing and recording. I love to share the knowledge that my teachers gave me and the discoveries that I was able to make on my own as a result. With the advent of new technologies like web cameras and free programs like Skype that allow users to communicate with audio and video in real time, I can now reach out to students all over the world. I've received so many emails from students as far away as Croatia, um, New Zealand, Japan, who would like to study with me, but they can't get to New York or to my Pennsylvania studio. And the best that they could do is buy my books and watch my videos. So I'm really pleased to be able to offer online coaching now so folks can have those eureka moments and start making those discoveries and go even deeper into the details of their music. The famous architect and designer Ludwig Mies van der Rohe said God is in the details. Through my studies of music and also Tai Chi, I've found this to be true. The more deeply I go and the finer and finer details I focus on, the more beauty, order, and sense of rightness I find. Mies van der Rohe also said some other cool things that took me years to understand, like, less is more. Or how about this one? I don't want to be interesting. I want to be good. There are lots of good teachers out there. That's why I think that you should study with more than one person, because everyone's perspective is different and they can illuminate the path a little differently. Sometimes another teacher's flashlight will shine at a different angle, and you'll see something you never saw before. These are the moments that we live for, those eureka moments. They give us energy, excitement, and motivation. But remember, a teacher can only teach what he or she knows. That's why the student has to seek out the teacher that has the skills and knowledge that the student wants to attain. Are you playing your instrument every day? I hope so, because the world needs us now more than ever. Improve your music, improve yourself. Improve yourself, improve humanity. Thanks for walking this path with me. See you down the road. No matter what the style of music, this young saxophonist swings hard. I'm Billy Taylor. Be on hand for Billy Taylor's Jazz at the Kennedy Center, where we'll play some and talk some with multi-read sensation Sue Terry. That's from NPR, where jazz lives. <laughs>